welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to prove uh, this identity uh, infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over n square plus x square is equal to 5x minus 1 over 2x square plus pi over x times e to the 2 pi x minus 1 okay uh, how to begin well first uh, I'm going to take uh, this series so n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square now here we know we have 1 so instead of 1 I'm going to use i square so minus i square times x square now uh, here we know difference of uh, 2 square so we can write 1 over n minus ix times n plus ix now uh, we can find the partial fractions so here 1 to infinity now if we take here n minus ix now if we plug in ix here we know 1 over uh, 2 times ix then here if we take n plus ix now uh, we should plug in minus ix so minus 1 over 2 times ix now we can take 1 over 2 ix as a common factor so here infinite sum 1 over n minus ix uh, sorry here uh, minus 1 over n plus ix okay now uh, we know uh, this identity uh, of digamma function sorry uh, digamma of c plus 1 is equal to minus Euler's mass coroni constant plus uh, here infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus c okay now uh, I'm going to convert uh, this series uh, to use uh, this digamma uh, identity so uh, I'm going to write 2ix infinite sum now here 1 over 1 over n minus i times x now I am going to subtract 1 over n then here minus 1 over n plus i x here uh, we subtract 1 over n so here add 1 over n okay then I am um, going to rearrange uh, this series uh, like infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over uh, n 1 over n minus uh, 1 over n plus i x then minus sum of 1 to infinity again uh, here 1 over n so 1 over n n minus i x so minus 1 over n minus i x okay then uh, here we have Euler's mass coroni constant so 1 over 2 times i x sum of n is equal 1 to infinity mm, here I am going to subtract uh, minus Euler's mass coroni constant here minus times Euler's mass coroni constant n is equal 1 to infinity uh, 1 over n minus 1 over n plus i x then minus here we subtract uh, minus gamma so here we should uh, add uh, plus gamma so here minus gamma plus n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n minus i x okay then uh, we know uh, this is equal to digamma of 1 plus i x this is equal to digamma of 1 minus i x so we can write now this is equal to 1 over 2 times i x times digamma of 1 plus i x minus digamma of 1 minus i x okay then <coughs> we know uh, this relation digamma of 
obtain m of uh, 1 plus c is equal to digamma of c plus 1 over c. So, we can write 1 over 2 times ix instead of gamma of 1 plus ix I am going to use this formula. So, we have digamma of ix plus 1 over ix and here we have minus digamma of 1 minus ix. Okay, then uh, also we know uh, this property of digamma function digamma of 1 minus c uh, minus digamma of c is equal to pi times cotangent of pi x okay then uh, we can write uh, this part uh, like 1 over 2 times i x now instead of gamma of i x minus digamma of uh, 1 minus i x we can write minus pi times cotangent of uh, pi i x here plus 1 over i x ok then uh, we can subtract uh, sorry we can multiply by 1 over 2 times i x so here we have minus pi over 2 times i x and uh, if we multiply by i here i square we know minus 1 so we have uh, pi i over 2 times x instead of cotangent I am going to write cosine of pi i x over sine of pi i x uh, here we know uh, i so here i so i square we know minus 1 so minus 1 over 2 times x square then uh, here pi i over 2 times x now we can uh, use uh, complex definition of cosine function and sine function so we know cosine of i pi x is equal to e to the i times i pi x uh, plus e to the minus i times i pi x so we know i square minus 1 uh, so we have e to the pi x plus e to the minus pi x over uh, now here we have sine so we know uh, both uh, cosine and sine uh, have in the denominator 2 so 2 get cancelled and sine of pi i x we know e to the uh, i times i pi x minus e to the minus i times i pi x over 2 times i so we should multiply by i so here i uh, then here we have e to the pi x minus e to the minus pi x and then here we have uh, minus 1 over 2 times x square ok then mm -hmm. we can simplify so I am going to take uh, here we know now uh, i square minus 1 uh, so sorry here we have uh, e to the minus pi x e to the plus pi x here we have i square we know i square minus 1 so if we take minus sign here here plus so we have uh, pi over 2 times x here e to the pi x plus e to the minus pi x over now uh, we take minus sign so here e to the pi x uh, minus e to the minus pi x minus 1 over 2 times x square ok then uh, we can simplify so um, now I am going to take uh, 1 over 2 times x square as a common factor so 1 over 2 times x square then here we have uh, pi times x then we know x uh, get cancelled pi over 2 times x it's ok so here we have now uh, we know e to the minus pi x is equal to 1 over e to the pi x so we can simplify so here we have e to the 2 pi x uh, plus 1 over e to the uh, 2 pi x 
minus 1 uh, minus 1 okay then we can simplify 1 over 2 times x square uh, now here we have pi x uh, times e to the 2 pi x plus 1 times pi x so plus pi times x then here minus so minus e to the 2 pi x minus minus plus 1 over e to the 2 pi x minus 1 okay then mm, here 1 over 2 times x square and here we can take pi x as a common factor uh, sorry e to the 2 pi x as a common factor so e to the 2 pi x times uh, pi x minus 1 then here we have pi x plus 1 so pi x plus 1 over e to the 2 pi x minus 1 okay then uh, as a next step uh, 1 over 2 x square now i am going to write e to the 2 pi x uh, like e to the 2 pi x minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 okay then uh, here we have pi x minus 1 plus pi x plus 1 over e to the 2 pi x minus 1 okay then uh, we can divide by e to the 2 pi x minus 1 so here we have 1 over 2 times x square uh, here uh, we know e to the 2 pi x minus 1 times pi x so e to the 2 pi x minus 1 get cancelled and here we have pi x minus 1 uh, plus pi x minus 1 over uh, e to the 2 pi x minus 1 uh, plus pi x plus 1 over e to the 2 pi x minus 1 ok then uh, still we can simplify so um, now we have 1 over 2 times x square we have pi x minus 1 uh, plus now if we simplify uh, minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled pi x plus pi x 2 pi x over e to the 2 pi x minus 1 ok now we can multiply by 1 over 2 times x square so we have uh, here pi x minus 1 over 2 times x square plus pi over because 2 times x square x get cancelled 2 also get cancelled pi over x times e to the 2 pi x minus 1 ok this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching